Yo, what is good, J.I. Squad, and welcome back to yet again another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy, J.I., and I'm back at it again with another banger for y'all. As y'all can tell by that red seatbelt, we are in Vader as of right now. You feel me? Um, you can tell by the title and the thumbnail that today's video, we're going to be talking about why I got a 1LE and I didn't get a ZL1. So, let's go ahead and just get straight into it, man, because a, a lot of people have been asking me, you know what I'm saying, J.I., why did you get a ZL1? We all know that you wanted a ZL1. How come you didn't get a ZL1? Why did you get a 1LE? And basically, honestly, the answer is just the market right now for used cars is extremely inflated. Um, and basically what I mean by that is it's just stupid high right now as far as any car to get any car you know what i'm saying the z01 there's 2017 2018 year cars going for 60 70 grand and they have like 40 50 maybe 60 thousand miles on them versus this car which is a 1le so it's basically a ZL1, it just does not have the motor or a blower. It has the regular SS motor, but it has the magnetic rod. You get the Recaro racing seats. The owner, the previous owner before me, specced out the red seat belt. You do not get the red seat belt with the car. It comes with the regular black seat belts. You gotta spec the seat belt. So yeah, they spec the seat belt. Um, it comes with the six piston Brembo's up front, the four piston Brembo's in the rear. Um, what else is it like it comes with the wheels it comes with the hood you get the front splitter you get the rear 1le wing and then most of all with the 2021 well 2019 and up you get the 6 gen refresh front end and with 2020 well yeah with 2020 you get the refresh of the refresh where they put the bow tie back in the upper grill like I have on my car mine just so happens to be a 2021 now with that being said going back to you know why i didn't get the zl1 legitimately because of the market but also just because if i get a zl1 content wise the zl1 is already basically perfect you feel me as far as like the fact that the car has a blower on it so you have the power that you want you have the looks that you want you have the wheel like everything everything about that car is literally perfect you really don't have to do anything so content wise all i will be doing with the zl1 is that i just track days track day after track day after track day you feel me i want i wanted to show you guys what the car sounds like but the dyno sheet back there is just not having it but yeah man like i was saying the zl1 content with that car it's pretty much done yes i can you know what I'm saying, throw a blower on the car. Yes, I can throw cam at the car. Yes, I can go E85. Yes, I can go meth. Um, not, not throw a blower, but port the blower on the car, go a smaller pulley, all of that. Yes, I can do that. Yes, this is very, very true. But at the end of the day, you guys also gotta understand, this is also my daily. I don't have a second car. That kind of stuff takes a fat minute. And once you get up there power-wise, like up there, up there power-wise, your drivability you kind of lose it you know what i'm saying so with the one le vader you know what i'm saying i haven't dropped like a build plan video or anything yet which i should and i'll probably do that um if this video gets like 20 likes then i'll go ahead and i'll drop a build plan video but basically what i'm planning to do with vader is build him into a zl1 if you will basically it's gonna be a ZLE, so it'll be, I'm gonna leave it at that. I'm not even gonna go too much into detail with that, but it's just, as far as content goes, as a content creator, the ZL1 is pretty much already done with modifications. You can do a little bit of aesthetic mods, you can throw, you know what I'm saying, some power mods at it, but it's pretty much done. It's like if you go and get an Aventador or an SVJ. If you, you see what I'm saying? It's like those cars are, already done so it's like what can you really do to them other than you know get the content of just driving them and taking them to car meets and stuff like that and just being honest from looking at the numbers on the channel you guys really don't care for car meet videos if i'm wrong y'all let me know in the comment the comments down below but i'm pretty sure i'm not because the numbers don't lie 
whenever I drop a car meet video, you guys aren't really tuning into that, you know what I'm saying? And if you do, you're not watching the video for as long as you would watch a normal upload. Um, let's say me doing a modification or me at the exhaust shop or something like that. So it's just, it's like, why would I, why would I continue to, why would I buy a car to make content that you guys don't want to see? You know what I'm saying? So yeah, man, Z01, don't get me wrong. The Z01 is definitely on the way, for sure. We're definitely getting a Z01. Don't even, <laughs> that's not even a question. Everybody knows that. But as of right now, we're just going to build the 1LE. It was just smarter to get the 1LE because it has no miles at all. The car has a lifetime warranty on the powertrain, so that's that's the motor and the transmission and it covers the what's it called that also covers aftermarket parts as long as i get the car um fixed by an asc certified technician i'm straight and asc certified so i'm straight so it's like i'm not like it was just bang for your buck it was smarter for me to get this car especially at the price that i got this car versus getting a zl1 like I say, I can definitely build this car into a Z01, which is the plan. Um, you know what I'm saying? And if you guys haven't caught on to what building a car into a Z01 entails, then start the video all over again and watch it again, and then you'll, you'll understand. But other than that, y'all, it's... I love the car. It's a 10-speed automatic car. It has 400 pound plus pound feet of torque and 380 plus ho horsepower to the wheels on a low reading dyno it's enough power for me as of as far as like just straight out the box stock car it's enough power so i don't i i honestly couldn't be happier you know what i'm saying this car doesn't really owe me anything as far as just being a rotofab cat delete car it's nothing really done to it uh, for it to, you know what I'm saying, be making like crazy power. So I'm not tripping on it, the power level that it's at at all. Got a little snack right here. Oh, it's just a Hemi. It's not even a snack pack. But, you know, got a little snack right there. But anyway, yeah, man, that's probably going to wrap it up for this video. I just wanted to get this off my chest real quick because a lot of people have been asking me. A lot of you guys were expecting a Z01 to come to the channel. Um... You guys were right in, you know, knowing that it was going to be a 6 gen, but everybody, literally everybody said Z01. Some people said um, Corvette. Some people said 5th gen Z01, which I was looking at that car. Um, but at the end, all in all, it just was a smarter move to go 6th gen. Don't get me wrong. The 5th gen is a beautiful car. And the Z01 is a beautiful platform um, at that. But as far as like power wise and what I'm trying to do, the Z01, the fifth gen Z01 is just not for me. You know what I'm saying? I'm a real big interior guy, as you guys know, and the fifth gen interior is just outdated to me. Which you know, it was ahead of its time when it came out, but now it's 2022. Um, you got things like Apple CarPlay, you got the Alcantara on the uh, steering wheel that you do get in the fifth gen Z01, if I'm not mistaken. But you don't get the Apple CarPlay, um, the screen, the digital dash, the heads-up display is not as modern as it is on this car. And and just a whole bunch of other little things um so yeah man that's why i ended up going with this car y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section down below do you guys like vader are you guys excited for this build i know i am and are you guys gonna pull up to the meet february 18th 2022 i'm not sure if i said it in this video because i've shot like four videos today alone but if i didn't february 18th 2022 J.I. Wings and Cars, 7 to 10 on West Timer. The flyer's on the screen right now. Y'all make sure y'all pull up. If you get there before 8.30, two slices of pizza on me for free. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.